This is Kathy Marshall with DNET Support. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to show you how to get registered for the DNETTV.com website. What you'll need to do is go over to the members area and just click on the registration link. It's going to ask you to type in a few important things that I just need for you to not forget. First of all, a very simple username. If you don't know what to select, pitch the first initial of your first name and your complete last name. That seems to work pretty well for everyone. Don't forget this email that you sign up for. This will be real important later. It's going to ask you for a few details, so just go ahead and go through this form and complete this. The last part, you can add your website that you're promoting. And then you're ready to hit register. You'll notice it says registration complete and please check your email. Let's go ahead and do that. This email is pretty important. You may want to write this down, DNET TV community, later if you need to search and pull your uh, username if you forget it. This is a good, good way to keep it remembered. Uh, the bottom line is um, you're going to need to copy the password which is a real unusual name. You're not going to be able to remember it. So just go ahead and copy that right now while you're here. And this is the login that actually go in to log into the back office for the WordPress. It's going to ask you for your username that you just recently typed in. And then your password is in that email and I'm just going to paste that in here. And that's hit login. All right, congratulations, you're in the back office of your WordPress. Next, what I'm going to do is show you how to update your profile area. Just click on Profile. You'll notice that you have several things already filled out. This is the username that you picked, and this cannot be changed. You can change your publicly displayed name if you so desire. I usually pick my first name and my last name. Email is required, but it is something you can change. It will ask you to type in your website address again, which I'm going to do. If you want to type in some of this other information like AIM, Google+, Twitter, please feel free to do so. In this area, this is my, my bio. So if you have some information about you, your company, and how people can reach you, please feel free to copy and paste some information in here as well. And this is the area where you can change your password. So let's go ahead and do that now. They have some recommendations for, for selecting your password. It should be at least seven characters long. And they also recommend to use upper or lowercase letters and also some unusual symbols. It's up to you if you so desire. At the bottom, make sure that your phone number and your website's been displayed. And then let's go ahead and update the profile. All right, congratulations. Uh, this is going to end the video for registration and updating your profile. This is Kathy Marshall, DNET Support. If you have any questions, if you need to reach out to us, please don't hesitate to email us at team at salessupplychain.com or you can reach me directly at 877-839-1122, extension 305, and welcome to DNET.